What is up, YouTube? Kuro's here, and today we're going to talk about the Ivan Kupala event, a very free-to-play friendly event, actually a little bit easier to do also than the Izuna event. So for that reason, I do like it. A lot of resources to get here. So we're going to keep this um, as quick as possible. You know me, not that quick. But um, we're going to go over the shop. We're going to go over that gotcha system, the box gotcha system for this event. And then we're going to go over uh, missions five, six, seven, talk about the characters you may want to bring, the teams you need to build, and then the routes you need to take in order to complete those. Um, and then we're also going to talk about the, the, the new portion in that event where you're doing the missions where you get to select buffs or debuffs. Now, you always want to choose the debuffs, spoiler alert, but sometimes you might choose the buffs if you're lower level. But let's get started. And um, if you guys haven't done so, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I do appreciate you and kick the intro. All right, before we get started, I want to do a giant PSA. Now, with the gacha roll system, you, I'm not 100% sure that you, once you refresh, that you can ever come back. So make sure that you clear each round before you go forward, or you're absolutely positive before going forward. So be very, very careful. Let's talk about the currency. There's going to be three different currencies for this event. There's going to be the chocolate, the crepe, and the metal you're gonna get the chocolate from two or five ideally five the crepe from three or six ideally six and the metal technically from seven but you need to use the gotcha system in order to get the metal you're gonna get a different resource and then you're gonna gotcha the way for uh trying to get that metal all right for the chocolate this one's pretty easy uh unless you're pulling for chirino your priority is gonna be the it's, it's really gonna be everything even if you don't pull for chirino but since I'm not pulling for Torino, it's going to be the top row and the bottom row. Get all those first and then get the blue row. Then for the crepes, we're going to do the same thing where you're going to want to get the top row and then the bottom row. Unless you pull those red winter and then you might as well grab them just in case. Uh, everything here is very desirable. And then finally for the medals, you're going to really want to grab everything here. Obviously, we love any kind of elves. We love any kind of gems, secret tech, money. All of it's good. You're going to want to grab all of it. Now, to get those medals, you're going to need to take that resource from Mission 7, and you're going to have to use it in their vending machine simulator to try and pull those rare resources. And as you can see on the top level there, there is that, uh, there's that medal that you need. Now, every single time that you clear this shop, that you'll have multiple rounds. You can see I'm on round two, so I've already cleared the shop once in one day. And I believe that goes up to a round of five. So you're going to want to clear this shop out because it has a lot of great resources. So just make sure that you're spending the time over the next two weeks and just slowly grind it out. All right, let's talk students that you're going to want to bring that's going to give you a bonus. Now, just before we go anywhere, remember that you can actually clear every mission without bringing any of these students, get the three stars so you can sweep it and then come back and just do it again. And you, you only have to complete it with a one star and it doesn't matter then you're going to have the bonus snapshotted and you can sweep as many times as you want so that first one you're going to be looking at is that chirino bonus and that's going to be for your stage seven chirino is going to give you a plus 30 percent and then that nodoka is going to give you another 30 percent which you're going to get really quickly by doing the gotcha system so make sure you do plug her in there to get you an additional benefit all right next up you got on the list is your chocolate which is going to be your Izumi, your Fuka, and your Junko. Finally, you have the Crepes, which you're going to have your Haruna, your Akari, and your Juri. Now, hopefully you have Haruna you've been farming for since the beginning of the game. But these are the characters you're going to want to use, especially on your second run, just to snapshot that bonus. Okay, in addition to the bonuses that you get from the students, you're going to want to make sure that you're choosing the correct buff or debuff. And really, you're going to want to choose debuffs. And the reason you want to do that is because you get a plus 8% or plus 10%, depending on the amount of mobs there is, per a group you take down. So you can get an additional 40% drop rate by choosing these debuffs. Now, it might be a little bit harder to do depending on how many levels you have and what students you may have. But you want to try for this because this is going to make it so you 
have to farm less and less. Now, remember, I'll say this again, but once you finish through a stage, you kill the boss, you get that three star, or whether it's your second run, you're doing it with all the correct characters, it's going to snapshot that bonus in time. So make sure that you are bringing your right characters, at least for the second run, if you can't do it in one run, to get that maximum bonus for sweeping. All right, these stages are going to introduce a new mechanic where you're going to have to like drop a unit and have them respawn in the beginning. So I figured I'd make some quick maps for you guys just so you can have a, a really easy guide. They're probably out there on the wiki anyways, but here is stage number five. Stage number five, you're going to want an explosive team, which is labeled in red, and you're going to want a piercing team that's labeled in uh, yellow. Just bring the best of the best and sprinkle in uh, the correct specialized students where you can. Now, for the red team, you're going to want to go on that bottom path. And then on the piercing team, you're going to go on that top path, bypassing that one student. You're going to need to do a strategic st a swap. And uh, the swaps are always labeled in S with who is the swap initiator. And then by the time you get through this and you drop uh, your explosive team off the platform that falls, this is kind of what you're going to look like at the end of that. So when you make it all the way to the end, you should be able to clear up all the units and you should have your piercing team right before the boss on the final turn. All right, stage six, we're gonna have something a little bit more uh, difficult, but you're gonna have to do the same thing where you need to respawn your unit. So you're gonna have your piercing team on the left and you're gonna wanna start moving with that piercing team. Uh, you're gonna have your explosive team on the right. Uh, you're going to want to move your Iori all the way to that, that second point and then initiate a swap from your explosive team so you get an extra movement. And then you're going to have that Iori fall off and start over. Then by that time, you should be able to swing through the right side and then swing through the left side in the proper number of steps to get you to something that looks like this. Hopefully that's able to help you guys out. Let's look at the final stage. All right, and stage seven, this one is super convoluted, but you're going to want to start with your piercing team in the top left, work your way down with your explosive team working your way up. You're going to have to do a strategic swap again to get your explosive team to fall off the map. So you're going to have to initiate with your explosive team to get an extra turn on your piercing team to get up towards the boss. Once you're able to utilize that, you can work your way up the right hand side and as you can see here, this is what it kind of looks like at the end. Your explosive team hits that trigger that you need for Iori. That's my piercing team to get to the boss. And all of them will aggro you and, and all that goodness. It's uh, not very hard. I mean, it, these missions are hard. I shouldn't say that. But um, after a couple of attempts, it makes a lot of sense. But hopefully this is able to help you guys out. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. All right, hopefully I hit everything. I don't know if I did, but hit me up in the comments down below if you have any questions. Um, I love this event so much to get. Go through all those shops, spend all your resources here, save your resources, and subscribe, like, and I will see you guys on the next video. <laughs>